varsity club welcome back to another classic leave a like on this video in the next five seconds or else your favorite team will lose in the playoffs or draft a bust in the nfl draft the NFL playoffs are literally about to happen, and unlike most of you, my favorite team made it. Week 18, the last week of the regular season, was a wild one, but the only thing that's more wild than that is the fact that I'm about to perfectly predict the NFL playoffs and the Super Bowl champion right now. A quick little heads up though, you can actually text me right now, or preferably right after this video, because obviously I want you to watch this video, at 540-517-6037 legit me now it's not my personal number but you can actually text legit me and i will respond to the majority of you guys and you can tell me how right or wrong i am in the playoffs as you watch them live how cool is that now, the storylines for this year's nfl playoffs are going to be wild we have comeback player stories we have players that have incredible pressure on them guys that are getting into playoffs for the very first time there's so many good storylines so let's go ahead and see what the predictions are now, for our playoff predictions we're using playoffpredictors.com you can pay them two dollars like i am get no ads and it's a little bit of a cleaner experience but a cool website now starting with the afc we have the Raiders versus the Bengals, which is going to be a crazy matchup, but I still can't get out of my mind that Brandon Staley of the Chargers called a timeout, and then the Raiders got in. Hey, as a Steelers fan, thank you. I appreciate that a ton, but Chargers fans, I'm sorry. The Raiders have absolutely surged since John Gruden was fired, rightfully so, and the Bengals have been incredibly fun to watch. Burrow has been killing it. Jamar Chase had everyone doubting him in the preseason, and the regular season, he's like, oh, just kidding. I know how to catch the football, and let me go ahead and break some records while I'm at it. I honestly feel like this matchup ends up being a 30-plus point shootout for both teams, and it ends with Joe Burrow finding a target in the end zone to ultimately win the game. The Raiders have been a great story in the second half, but that fairy tale story, it ends here in the wild card round. The Patriots' Bills played in one of the best, worst games I've think i've ever seen in my entire life we're talking about no visibility due to the snow we're talking about crazy temperatures we're talking about looking like a high school jv football game literally passed like three times what are we doing here i get it but ultimately i want to see a better game this time around and i do think we will this game is likely going to be one of the coldest games we've ever seen in orchard park and i do think though the passing game is much more impactful this time patriots defense has carried them the entire year and i'm not saying that mac jones isn't a great quarterback because he's been pretty good by rookie standards but at the end of the day if you have a defense that good that's helping you out a ton it makes your job a little easier and with mac jones being a rookie i'm not quite ready to trust a rookie in the playoffs when they're playing in buffalo against that talented of a team in buffalo so i'm taking an angry bill belichick post-game press conference meaning the bills are going to win this game as a steelers fan the steelers chiefs game is a little bit bittersweet for me i'm hyped to see my favorite team in the postseason especially when it came by dramatic fashion but we're still playing kansas city one of the best teams in the nfl they have one of the loudest stadiums in the nfl and Big Ben has the arm strength of that kid from the Play 60 commercial with Cam Newton from years ago. It's not very good. Pittsburgh tries to keep this one close, but look, we have outperformed what we should have been doing this season. We have an incredible coach, a very bad quarterback, and some holes across our team. Kansas City by 14. Switching over to the NFC, the Cardinals-Rams matchup is one of my favorites in the wildcard round. I thought the Rams were going to be the number one seed coming into the season because they were just building up this incredible team, and they even made more trades, obviously, out through the later part of the year. But... He sort of faltered in the second half. And on the other side, Kyler Murray is one of the most exciting players in football, and getting to see Kyler Murray in the playoffs? That's what I'm here for. The difference maker, in my opinion, though, is going to be the return of Cam Akers. His injury had a major impact on the Rams. While the running game has had some obviously cool moments and some great moments here and there, it's not the same without Cam. In the playoffs, in my opinion, it's all about depth. So when you have Cam Akers and Sony Michelle both able to stay fresh and healthy, that's a big W. So with both of those guys healthy and Matthew Stafford actually playing the state free football in the postseason because he has a lot of weight on his shoulders. I'm taking the Rams in this one against the Cardinals in a close one. The 49ers Cowboys game is honestly going to be one of the most watched games in the NFL. But if there's one thing that I've learned in my life, it's that you can't trust Jimmy Garoppolo. I do think the game is going to be close early, but Jimmy G's turnover is going to lead to the Cowboys just having too many great opportunities for field position and getting points on the board. I got to go with Dallas here. With the Eagles and Bucks playing, I've realized at this point that I've picked the better seed to win every single matchup so far. And that stops here. I know, I know, it's crazy, but I do think the Bucks have a lot of issues going on, whether it's the injuries they've had. Mike Evans is probably coming back, but they have a lot of injuries across the ball. They have on the field and off the field distractions that have been happening nonstop. There's just so much going on with this team. It is the perfect storm for the Eagles to get a W. I feel even more confident if Miles Sanders is able to come back. He has a hand injury that he's going through, and I think while the Bucks have had a really good run defense, trying to stop Jalen Hurts and Miles Sanders, and the coach of the Eagles, I think, could get some consideration for coach of the year though i think it's mike vrabel i still think the eagles have enough to get it done in a very very close game brady has been drinking from the fountain of youth for literally two decades now but i think jalen hurts and the eagles win this one by three with the wild card out of the way the 
divisional round is going to be spicy. Buffalo versus Kansas City is a game that everybody wins, except I guess for the fans of the losing team, because this is a matchup that everybody wants to see. We're going to get a focus on Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes dueling it out there in the NFL field. And dear God, hopefully no Jackson Mahomes TikToks. Like, please, NFL, step up your security. Please help us. I'm seeing this game as Buffalo taking an early lead. Kansas City takes that lead back. And ultimately, once they have that lead, they don't let go of it. And they're going to hold on late to win this one. And not only do they win this one, I think it's their defense that makes a major play late in the game to stop a big Buffalo drive. Kansas City's defense was terrible in the beginning of the year, but the second half of the season, they've been one of the better ones in the NFL. And I think they are the reason why Kansas City advances in this round. The Bengals Titans matchup is one that I honestly think we're going to see for a couple of years to come in the playoffs. Both of these teams, if they can keep things going, should be perennial playoff teams going forward. And what's even better that we finally get to see Derrick Henry back on the football field. It is about time. Thank you, football gods. Look, I know the popular opinion is that running backs can't win the MVP or shouldn't win the MVP or whatever. But look, Derrick Henry, before he got injured, was the MVP. And I stand by that. But even with Derrick Henry back, I don't expect him to get more than 10 to 15 carries. Maybe, maybe a couple of passes are thrown his way. But he's not going to be the Derrick Henry that we saw at the beginning of the year where they were touting this dude 30-ish times a game. More importantly, though, I think all the injuries the Titans have been having this year, I mean, they played the most players ever on an NFL roster with I believe 91 in the regular season I think those injuries the reps whatever those issues are they end up coming back to bite the Titans and they lose this game I'm taking Cincy in a close one and Joe Burrow in the locker room smoking a cigar Heading over to the NFC, the Rams Cowboys is must see football. It's weird that despite winning 12 games, the Cowboys just feel like they underachieved this season. And I don't know if we just have lofty expectations for them or what it is, but it just feels weird. I mean, you look at the Rams, the Rams are built like what the Lakers were trying to do, but instead the Lakers are don't like the expendable so good job on the rams they actually put together a good roster the big storyline for me though here is that matthew stafford finally returns home to texas and has a major playoff game and he does well mistake free football for matthew stafford has been rough these last couple of weeks but as he goes home to dallas this is a big one for him and honestly after a decade ish of playing for the detroit lions that man deserves it the eagles packers matchup is one that nobody really thought they were going to see and honestly maybe even the eagles are surprised they're there as well but this one is not going to be close i see rogers throwing for nearly 400 yards and i think the eagles do have some success on offense and they show that really that jalen hurts is that guy and can be their franchise qb but it's the packers big in this one by 14. the afc championship game is what nfl marketers have been dreaming of they get to have patrick mahomes one of the best young quarterbacks in the game versus a guy joe burrow who is coming off his injury maybe comeback player of the year and is now asserting himself as one of the best young qbs in the game this is what nfl marketers dream of and while since he's had a really good run that fairy tale journey it stops here mahomes and the chiefs are going to continue their revenge tour after losing embarrassingly in the super bowl last year and kansas city gets that win now the nfc championship game is one that honestly before the season i kind of predicted would happen i thought the rams versus packers is sort of a, a no-brainer at some point Aaron Rodgers is by far the best player on the field between those two teams maybe you argue aaron donald but i still think rogers is the best player on the field and the mvp but the rams are a much better team overall I do think Aaron Donald, though, disrupts the Packers' game plans, and the Rams, they win a close one in Green Bay. And also, I'm going to add that Odell Beckham Jr. probably has two touchdowns in this game, and his press conference is legendary. At this point in the postseason, we get to the Super Bowl. Matthew Stafford has played mistake-free football and has led the Rams to the Super Bowl with that incredible defense. The Rams are going to be taking on the Chiefs in what is going to be a memorable Super Bowl, way better than last year, where it was just sort of like... Tom Brady won again. Mary J. Blige performs at halftime with Kendrick, Eminem, Dr. Dre, and Snoop, and gives us honestly a better meme than that lightsaber meme she had a couple years ago. Still my favorite. Despite a two interception performance for Patrick Mahomes, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to come through in the clutch and get the W. Matthew Stafford finally gets a whole lot more respect than he's been having, but people still give him crap because he lost the Super Bowl. There you have it, the perfect NFL playoff and Super Bowl prediction for 2022. I'm not going to get a single one wrong, but in case I happen to get one wrong, where do you think I would be getting one wrong at? What are your predictions for the NFL playoffs in the Super Bowl? And did your favorite team make it? Did they not make it? What's your favorite highlight of the season? I'd love to know. This year's NFL playoffs should be wild, and I cannot wait to sit down or stand up and yell at the TV and, and ultimately enjoy them. You know the deal, though. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. I'll catch you guys on the next one.